Good evening, football fans, and welcome to the north side of San Antonio, where tonight it's TAPS Division I District Two action between your San Antonio Christian Lions and the visiting Apaches from Antonian. Cameron Songer here with you on Vipe Live. Nathan Aubin, my cameraman, and Trey Grubb back at Mission Control, making sure we look and sound good on the air. We are just moments away from kickoff as the Apaches are over there on the far side and San Antonio Christian over here on the near side. Sounds like they're having some uh, some PA problems, but they hope to get that sorted out soon here. We're ready to go, though. It's a gorgeous night for football. Man, there was some rain in the forecast earlier this week for tonight. That does not seem to be the case here as players standing ready for the invocation. Looks like the, uh, yeah, so the uh, Antonian band finishes their school song and the captains will meet at midfield. I'll tell you a little bit about these teams. San Antonio Christian coming in with a 1-2 and two record overall, 0-1 oh in district play. They lost last week to Central Catholic. Meanwhile, Antonian, this is their first district game. They're 2-2 two and two overall. They've won both of their home games, lost both of their road games. So uh, perhaps a little home field magic is in order as San Antonio Christian will look to avenge last year's loss to uh, Antonian. It was a 49-10 finish over at Antonian's place. So looking to defend home turf here tonight. The, the matchup to watch as, as the captains are out on the field, there's some guys who just tower over everyone else on the field. And, uh, you know, when, when you're looking at two elite athletes like that, that's the matchup we're going to feature here tonight. For Antonian's number 65, Ty Short, who this week committed to play at Cornell next year. He's a senior uh, lineman who plays both sides of the ball. And for San Antonio Christian's number 61, Ethan Sanders, a state gold medalist in the discus and shot put last year. So watch the battle in the trenches. I know a lot of times you, you watch a football game, you watch the, the so-called skill position players, you watch where the ball is. Uh, but the, the battle between those two outstanding scholar-athletes will be the one to watch here tonight. It looks like San Antonio one Christian test, one test, one won one the ten. toss and elected to defer. So Antonian will get the ball to start here in this contest. 81 degrees, partly cloudy skies, not much of a breeze. And San Antonio Christian set for the home district opener. Last season, the Lions finished 1-7 in that pandemic altered season 0 and 6 in district a year ago meanwhile Antonian reached the playoffs last year going 6 and 2 in the regular season with a 4 or 6 and 1 in the regular season and then losing uh, to Fort Worth All Saints in the playoffs second in the district to Houston St. Thomas everyone looking up at St. Thomas in the district this year Central Catholic also going to be a challenger and San Antonio Christian looking for a better result than a season ago uh, when they went 0 for in the district and this one, not going to be an easy one. Antonian, a great program. They've had great quarterback play the last couple years. Uh, a senior quarterback who was a one-year starter last year uh, by the name of Zach Schwalen, who led them to the playoffs after their previous quarterback, who uh, went on to play D1. So uh, a, a new system in place for Antonian. We'll introduce you to their stars in just a second, but the low kickoff has us underway. Taken by Antonian up the middle, looking for a block across the 40 to the 45, and finally stacked up at the 47-yard line goes Eric Diaz. 
So it sets up first and 10 for the Antonian offense as we introduce you to their starting lineup. For the Antonian offense, behind an offensive line from left to right, Short, Olivares, Pruitt, Walker, and Ramirez. Their receivers are Gonzalez, Strode, Painter, and Villarreal. Eric Diaz is the running back. Jack Fertitta is the fullback, and the starting quarterback is number 12, a senior by the name of Cooper Marshall. He gets the snap on first down, swings it out to the left side, incomplete. Diving attempt that time by Rayleigh Strode, the sophomore. It's incomplete. Second down and 10 upcoming for Antonia's. We're just getting started from Hotchkiss Memorial Field. The starting defense for San Antonio Christian, the defensive line looks like this. Alonzo, Sanchez, Sanders, and Guillory. The linebackers are Sheets, Sigmund, and Aguilar. And the defensive backs, Morris, Bates, Buffington, and Griffin. Se uh, second down and 10 for Antonia. Snap, play fake, throw over the middle, too high, and incomplete. So it brings up a third down and 10. Michael Painter, the intended target there. And unlike what you'll see at a lot of small or private schools in, in South and Central Texas, Antonia is really a pass-first team. So when things are going well, they really go well, and the ball can really get up and down the field. But if it's not, these games can take a long time. You see those two plays, less than 20 seconds have run off the clock. And here we go, third down and 10. They need to get it to the San Antonio Christian 43 for a fresh set of downs. Snap, time in the pocket, swings out to the running back, complete to Diaz. Diaz trying to make a man miss, gets rustled out of bounds at the 50-yard line. Big hit there. Tackle by Colin Sigmund, and that brings up fourth down. This is complete to number three, Eric Diaz. He's driven out of bounds by number 11, Jonathan Sheets. Jonathan Sheets in there as well on the tackle. Fourth down and eight for Antonian, and that should bring on the punt team. Josh Morris listed as the starting punter. Check that. That's uh, the San Antonio Christian punter. It's Sam Girat comes in and will step back. Whistle. Antonian takes a timeout early. So... The Apaches appear to go three and out. The ref signal timeout, Antonian. They just announced in the stadium timeout San Antonio Christian. We'll see if we can get uh, some clarification on that. I want to remind you that this broadcast today brought to you by our friends at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Get ready to go back to school and back to sport at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Shop in store or online at academy.com, and you can find all the hottest sports gear and casual styles from Nike, Adidas, Under Armour, and more. All the latest in sacks so line of scrimmage is the 50-yard line. It's fourth down, and we'll say seven for the Antonian Apaches on the opening possession, 11.35 to go in the first quarter. And their offense is on the field. Sam Girat is listed as a quarterback. Now he'll back up and perhaps try a quick kick. Nobody back deep to return for sacks, and this punt goes away. It's a good kick. We'll bounce inside the 10-yard line and take a... Uh, Apache bounce. No, it gets into the end zone for a touchback. That's a punt on fourth down by the Apaches by number one, Sam Girat. So Girat's punt goes about a yard too far. The and the San Antonio Christian offense will come out onto the field for the first time. Let's introduce them. Behind an offensive line that looks like this, Alonzo, Sanchez, Sanders, Lindsey, and Harrison starting up front for the Lions. The wide receivers are Morris, Bates, and Sheets. Will Allen is your starting running back. Connor Garner Guillory is the tailback. And the starting quarterback, Antonio wants to go for this. I think the offense stays on the field here, and they do. Fourth and 10 from the 25, a chance for the San Antonio Christian defense to stand tall. Snap to Girat on fourth down. Pressure coming. He steps up. He gets away. And then he's wrapped up, and he's sacked. Ethan Sanders on the sack, and it's a turnover on downs. Hey, the best players on your team have to come up and make big plays in big situations. That was one of those situations. And it's a turnover on downs. San Antonio Christian takes over first and 10 from their 26 yard line. So loss of one on the sack. The Lions take over first and 10, six and a half minutes to play first quarter. Cameron Songer here with you on Vipe Live. Apologize if there's been any technical difficulties on the back end. We hope to have those sorted out. Uh, by now, and uh, well, if you're just joining us, you haven't missed much. Obviously, no scoring yet. Flag flies early on this play as Lewin will just try to make something happen, and he's wrapped up. 
for a gain of just about a yard. That's Hard tackle there by Jace Toscano. By number eight, Jace Toscano. There is a flag on the play. We'll see what the flag is for. Penalty against San Antonio Christian. So they'll back him up and replay first down. The penalty is called on the Lions. That'll move the ball back five yards. It'll still be first down at the 21. Beautiful night for some football. It was 81 degrees at kickoff. Breeze starting to pick up here on the north side of San Antonio, just outside Loop 1604. Nathan Aubin running the camera for me here this evening. Trey Grubb, RQA. Trips right for San Antonio Christian. One receiver on the left. Snap to Lewin. Looks left, throws left, complete to Morris. Morris hit hard. Almost got back to the original line of scrimmage before he was smacked by Raleigh Strode. Second down for the Lions. Gain of nine for San Antonio Christian. So it'll be second down and 11. Two receivers right, two left. Lewin in the gun. Allen in the backfield with him. He'll stay in to block. Lobs one towards the near sideline. Too high, incomplete. Looking for Josh Morris again. And in there on coverage was number 26, Jalen Appleby. The ball is at the 26-yard line. Total yards definitely favor Antonian so far. San Antonio Christian still looking for their first offensive first down. Antonian was able to flip field a little bit, move the ball a, a couple first downs, two or three first downs on that drive before it sputtered. And then the Ethan Sanders sack on fourth down forced the turnover on downs. Third down and long. Lewin in trouble. And he's brought down. His knee went down as he tried to get out of that uh, stranglehold by the Antonian defense. And on the tackle is number 57, Bradley Walker. Fourth down for the Lions at the 20-yard line. That's number two, Josh Morris back in punt formation. So big loss on the play. Josh Morris near the shadow of his own goalpost as he punts this ball away. Low kick that takes another lion bounce. And let's see. That almost bounced into the return man. Got to take another step away from that. And San Antonio Christian will down this all the way back at the Antonian 33-yard line. Is down at the 33 yard line. So really helping out the, the punting stats there for Josh Morris as we've played more than half of the first quarter. Still no score between San Antonio Christian and Antonian. We want to thank our sponsor, Academy Sports and Outdoors. Back to school, back to sport at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Shop in store or online, academy.com. And you can find all the hottest sports gear and casual styles from Nike, Adidas, Under Armour, and more. First and 10 for Antonian. Trips to the right is in at quarterback. Is our third different quarterback of the evening for the Apaches. And there's a nice looking run for number eight, Jace Toscano. He gets pushed out right in front of the Antonian bench, firing up his teammates, and he has more than enough for a first down near midfield. We'll see where they spotted him as he tiptoed that far sideline. Nose of the football touching the midfield stripe. So Cooper Marshall got the first series at quarterback. Gira got the second series, and now Toscano here on the third series. Toscano in the shotgun. He's got Eric Diaz on his right shoulder. He will keep it on the ground with Diaz. Diaz with a burst of speed up the middle, 40. And he has 11 yards before he's wrapped up and has back-to-back -back first downs. Just running through Lion defenders there. Josh Morris and Nate Griffin in there on the stop. Down for the 
Shotgun formation. First and 10 for Antonian from the Sacks 40 yard line. Hand out the middle for Diaz. Another great burst. Spinning off defenders, and he's down just short of the 30 yard line to about the 31. Gain of eight on the play. And it brings up second down and two with 3.20 to play in the first quarter. Second down for Antonian at the 31. Line to gain is the Lion 29-yard line, and we saw this on the last series with Antonian just kind of marching down the field and then stumbling, getting some penalties. There's a fumble on a snap. See if they have better luck this time around. Toscano throwing here on second down. The pass is complete, and good swarming defense there. They got the first down yardage, but not much more as the pass was complete to number five, Ricky Gonzalez. Gonzalez coming into tonight's game, 29 catches, 444 yards, and five touchdowns, all tops on the team. That play results in a first down for Antonian, first and 10 at the 26. 244 to play first quarter. Antonian threatening deep in Lion territory again. They got to about the 20 yard line before their last drive stalled. And Ethan Sanders ended that last drive on a fourth down sack. First down snap, handoff up the middle. Diaz stacked up early this time. Good surge defensively by San Antonio Christian. Down at the bottom of that pile, number 54. Number Eric Diaz, and on the stop is number 54, Adam Aguilar. Adam Aguilar for San Antonio Second down, Christian. 29. Correction, 24. So just a three-yard gain that time, and you know, coaches will tell you three yards in a cloud of dust. That's the old way of playing football. It, it works, but a lot of kids nowadays like to play that up-tempo, faster style, and we'll see if it sticks uh, for Antonian. That's not really the way Antonian likes to play the three yard in a cloud, three yards in a cloud of dust. Toscano flinging it to the left side, complete broken tackle. Uh, no, keeping the grasp there was number five Logan Bates hanging on uh, to Ricky Gonzalez. So Gonzalez gets the forward progress up to the 19-yard line. Third down upcoming with a minute 30 left in the first quarter. Still no score here between San Antonio Christian and Antonian. Line to gain is the San Antonio Christian 17. So this is third and short. See if they just try to go power right up the middle, maybe quarterback keeper. Toscano gets the snap, hands it off, flag flies on the far side, on the near side, excuse me, Diaz pushing forward. Someone's helmet came off. Is number three, Eric Diaz. And I think we're and gonna be taking this one back. One, Ethan Sanders. Sanders' helmet play. came off. That's bad news for San Antonio Christian. He has to come sit out a play. As we'll sort out what this flag was for. It's thrown where the Antonian receiver lined up right in front of the San Antonio Christian bench on the bottom of your screen. Oh, it's a neutral zone infraction on San Antonio Christian, so it doesn't matter where uh, the result of the play was. It's five yards and more than enough for a first down. So inside the 15, the new line of scrimmage will be the 14-yard line. That was a penalty on the Lions. The Apaches can get a first down without a touchdown, but they're getting close to pay dirt here. Me, first and 10 from the 12. So third time might be a charm for Antonian as Jace Toscano in at quarterback gets the snap. He will keep it. Keep Has it a block point. on the left side. Toscano picking his way forward. Hit hard at about the five-yard line. Not quite enough for a first down, but a good run eight, by Jace Toscano. On the quarterback keeper. As he heads over to the sideline, gets the play call. Second down. Jonathan Sheets gets credit for that big, hard tackle. That looks good on film. With 27 seconds left in the first quarter, this could be the last play until the team switch sides. Can the Lions keep the Apaches out of the end zone for one more play? Just take it one play at a time right now. Play clock at 12, game clock at 15. Second down and short for Antonian. Toscano gets the snap. Diaz up the middle, has a block, spins off a defender, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Antonian, but there is a flag. Diaz on the carry, he's in the end zone. There is a flag on the play. Let's see. I think the head referee motioning like that was a hold. I don't see the Antonian kick team coming out. So it looks like for the second time tonight, an Antonian would-be touchdown is wiped out. It's a face mask on the defense, and I take that right back. It is a touchdown for Antonian. Uh, 
That's a penalty on the Lions. The score counts. Touchdown for number three, Eric Diaz. In the kick for Antonio is number nine, Gabriel Torres. So Torres comes on to attempt the PAT. High snap. Hold is good, and the kick is good. And with four seconds left in the first quarter, the Antonian Apaches have opened the scoring in this contest, seven to nothing. We'll be right back. San Antonio Christian, zero. Ladies and gentlemen, if you know of a family desiring to partner with an excellent school that will love and shepherd their child's heart, please encourage them to contact the SACS Admission Office. To learn more about SACS or to register for a tour, go to www.sachristian.org and click on Admissions. So that 15-yard penalty will be enforced on the kickoff against San Antonio Christian. So the Apaches will kick off from the wrong side of midfield. Now you had the face mask that was uh, during the touchdown play. A six-yard touchdown scamper by Eric Diaz, his third rushing touchdown of the year. Back to kickoff for Antonio and it's number nine. He's their leading Torres. rusher coming into tonight's game. Just 137 rushing yards in four games. As Torres kicks this one off, it will be down in the end zone by San Antonio Christian. That was that was scary for a split second there as it bounced straight up in the air for a split second. Down to about the one yard line. Now remember, college rules apply and you can fair catch a kickoff now and, and take it back out the same as a touchback. So uh, you wonder if that's just would have been tough to do there on a on a short field. You're not, not sure you practice fielding kickoffs from uh, from that shorter distance after the penalty. Antonian had some things they could do there. You wonder if coaches don't start thinking about onside kicks in those situations. It is a little early for that. Four seconds left in the first quarter, so we'll get this play and then we'll take another break. First down snap to Lewin, gives it off right side for Allen. Ball popped out at the end, but they'll say he was down. Sophomore Will Allen on the carry, picks up a couple yards. Hudson Russell. Check that, Hudson Russell on the ball. Correction number 20, Sebastian Cantu. And on the stop was number three, Eric Diaz. Well, they changed their mind again. This time it was uh, Cantu on the carry. And that's how the first quarter will end. A little confusion. Both teams still feeling each other out. It's a, it's a learning process. A lot of young players Ladies out there on the field. The end, end of the first, first quarter has us with Antonian 7 and San Antonio Christian nothing. So we'll be right back. Check out www.gosachristian.org for up-to-the-minute news and information on the Lions Backers Club. Or visit the Lions Backers Club table tonight. Go Lions! Also, make sure to get your tickets for the upcoming Sox Middle and High School production of the Lion King Jr. See all your favorite Lion King characters and sing along to its familiar songs coming up on October 14th through the 16th. Tickets can be purchased tonight next to the Booster Club tables or stop by the middle school office during the week. All right, the teams have switched sides. We'll see if that right side of the field is the magic side. A lot of the offense took place on the right side of midfield. Lions now going from left to right across the, your video screen. Second down pass is complete. Pass is complete to Lewin 11, fires Sheets. it to Jonathan Sheets. So they'll say his knee was down as he caught that pass. But it is enough for a first down. So the first first down of the night for San Antonio Christian. If you're just joining us, a lot of three and outs in the early going. And Antonian finally finding the end zone with four seconds left in that first quarter on a six-yard touchdown run by senior Eric Diaz. We're just getting underway in the second quarter. Cameron Songer here with you on Vipe Live. Snap to Lewin, drops to throw, fires the deep ball to the near sideline, too high. Trying to connect with Jonathan Sheets again. And that time it was covered well by Gio Guerra. And on the coverage was number six, Gio Guerra. 
Nathan Aubin, my cameraman this evening. Trey Grubb, RQA. Already, we're in uh, what's this? John, please have week the Cubs six. Club members come sign in at the tent. Again, Cubs Club, go sign in at the tent. Is that, is that possible? It's already the sixth week of the Texas high school football season. This season has already flown by. Second down and 10. Play clock down to four. Let's see if Lewin sees it. Gets the snap off in just enough time. Play fake. Lewin flushed out to the right. Throws. Caught near the first down stick. Good hands there by Hudson Russell. And they will say that was a gain of 10 and a first down for San Antonio Christian. They needed the 45. Got the 46. First down. First and 10 at the 46-yard line. So it took uh, the whole first quarter to get things rolling for San Antonio Christian. But now back-to-back -back first downs. 11-18 to go in the second quarter. And the Lions moving the ball a little bit here. Lewin in the gun. Gets the snap. Give up the middle. Upended right near the line of scrimmage. Not a lot there. That looked like number three. On the carry for the Lions is number 21. Check that Will 21, Allen. Will Allen. And on the stop was number 10, Bodie Ferguson. Love these Second black jerseys Lions, for San Antonio Christians. It's a really sharp look. It's a little hard to see some of the numbers from up here. Uh, they have those maroon numbers outlined in white on those black jerseys. White helmets, silver pants, and for Antonian, the all-white look. White hats, white shirts, and white britches. Second down snap. Allen will try the left side. He's met in the backfield. Breaks away from one. Stretching it out towards the sideline. And he'll lose a couple yards there. Just great pursuit by the Antonian defense. That's number 21, Will Allen on the carry. He's chased down by number 51, Alex Pruitt. That'll bring up third down. We highlighted before the game started the, the matchup in the trenches. Ty Short, the Cornell commit for Antonian. And the San Antonio Christian captain, Ethan Sanders, the reigning state discus and shot put champion and a, a fine offensive lineman and defensive lineman as well. I don't see short out there for Antonian. He's more of an offensive lineman, and the Apaches are pretty deep. Sanders does play both sides of the ball for San Antonio Christian. Third down, pump fake, Lewin in trouble, and down he goes at about the 41-yard line. 9.45 to play, second quarter. And out comes the San Antonio Christian punt team. Ferguson gets credit for the sack for the Apaches. And once again, Josh Morris will be called on to punt away this football. The Lions were lining up to punt. In punt formation is number two, Josh Morris. Back deep for the Apaches, number five, Ricky Gonzalez. Ricky Gonzalez back deep. Toscano intermediate. And Morris gets a boot into this one. Another good bounce. Oh, that might have been touched. It's down. Who fell on this football? Lions say they have it. It is Lion football. Fumbled on the return by Gonzalez. Recovered by San Antonio Christian. First down, Lions. How about that? First and 10 for San Antonio Christian at the Apache 19-yard line. All right, golden opportunity here for the Lions. They take over in the red zone. First and 10 from the Apache 20-yard line. Lewin in the gun. High snap, gets to it. Throws the fade to the end zone. Caught. Touchdown, San Antonio Christian. Josh Morris on the receiving end, and the Lions are an extra point away from tying this game. Flag flies on the PAT. It was good. So let's get this sorted out before we put that point on the board.
That's a penalty on Antonio, and it's declined. The extra point is good. So, ladies and gentlemen, after that score from that pass from number four, Taylor Talon Lewin, to number two, Josh Morris, our score with 8.59 remaining in this half. We're tied at seven. 7-7, seven, seven, our new score. Penalty was against Antonian. It will be declined. And we've got a brand new ball game. Campaign fund provides SACS with much needed improvements and enhancements. Please support the SACS annual fund with a donation through the mail or go to sachristian.org and click on donate to contribute today. 8.59 to play, second quarter. San Antonio Christian with a huge response, taking advantage of the turnover. And now, let's see how Antonian responds. Uh, this season, they've been they've played some really good competition. You look at what they've done this year. They lost in overtime at Floresville, beat Pleasanton, lost at Harlandale, and then beat Blanco. Those are four good public school four teams that are uh, in a variety of, of levels. Floresville, Pleasanton, I mean, Harlandale, those are, you're talking four 5A kind of programs and, uh, and playing them close. So, Antonian's been in some battles this year. We'll see if San Antonio Christian can keep it close late. Oh, a fake on the return. Nice juke move, and now some running room. Oh, this is a problem for San Antonio Christian. Return into their own territory. Big, big running room there for That's Raleigh Strode. Raleigh Strode on the return. And he takes it all the way to the 35-yard line. Hudson Russell. Tell you what, that little misdirection there. He fielded the kickoff and then tossed like, or faked like he was going to toss it to his teammate. And that seemed to throw Antonio off San Antonio Christian. Drive, first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Just the, you know, maybe watching the ball a little bit too much as opposed to, uh, you know, coaches will say, keep your gaps, keep your lanes. Gap integrity is a really weird term, but you hear it in football circles. Cooper Marshall is back in at quarterback by the looks of things for Antonian. He calls for the first down snap, play fake. He steps up to throw, has time, throws the ball over the middle, has a man caught inside the 15, down to about the six yard line. It's Ricky Gonzalez, and it sets up first and goal for Antonian. Dano's pass is complete to number five, Ricky Gonzalez. He's tackled by number five, Logan Bates. That was just a dime there. The Marshall, you see why he's their starting quarterback. He has really nice touch on his throws, completing about half of his passes this year, but thrown for a team best 400, or second on the team, I should say, with 459 yards coming in. They spot him down at the seven-yard line, first and goal for Antonian as they try to take the lead right back from San Antonio Christian. After that Lion touchdown just a moment ago, snap, give it to Toscano, cuts back, and he's down about the six-yard line, just about a yard there. Look like Ethan Sanders got a really good push up front. Eight, Chase Toscano. As we take under eight minutes to play tackle, in quarter number two. Jonathan Sheets, Jonathan Sheets gets Second credit down. for the tackle for the Lions. Second down, goal to go for Antonian. Second down for Antonian on the five yard line. Remember, they scored first with four seconds left in the first quarter. Got a stop. Then on the San Antonio Christian punt, it was muffed by. Antonian, and on the next play, Lions punched it in, but now Antonian threatening to take the lead right back. On the run, that pass bounced up in the air, was a tip drill, but no one could haul it in. It falls harmlessly to the turf of Greg Hotchkiss Memorial Field, and it brings up third down. 20, intended for number 26, Jalen Appleby. Broken up by number 15, Nate Griffin. That brings up third down for Antonian at the five yard line. 726 to play, third and five from the five yard line. Sun is set, the floodlights taken over. It's a gorgeous night for football. Storm is coming, that's what the weatherman keeps telling me. With the weather smiling on us here this evening. Lob pass, corner end zone, too high, incomplete. Trying to find Marshall Raleigh Strode. Intended for number seven, Raleigh Strode. And in coverage, Nate Griffin, and a decision line. now on fourth and goal. Looks like the kick team comes out for Antonian, trying to take the, get the three points and take the lead back. It's 
So ball slightly it's in from the left hash. Is lining up in field goal formation. On to attempt nine, the field goal, Gabriel Torres. Gabriel Torres. This is a chip shot. 26 yard field goal attempt is up and it is good with 7.15 to play in the second quarter. San Antonio Christian seven, Antonian 10. But the Lions will get the ball back and they that offense is really starting to go. We'll see what they can do. Coming up next on Vipe Live. There's a new spot for Lions to roam prior to kickoffs this season. Enjoy a premier tailgating experience in the Savannah this fall. Have your tent provided, food catered, and enjoy fellowship with your pride. Hospitality tents are available for every home game, so reserve your spot today at www.gosachristian.org. Lining up for the kickoff for Antonian is number nine, Gabriel Torres. Back deep for San Antonio Christian is number three, Hudson Russell, and five, Logan Bates. 10-7, our new score, 7-16 to play second quarter. Cameron Songer here with you on Vipe Live. Nathan Aubin, my cameraman, Trey Grubb, back at Mission Control. Also want to give a big thanks to Suna Venkat, product manager for Vipe Live, who helped us get on the air here this evening. Kickoff was fair caught by San Antonio Christian. By number five, and Bates. they'll take it out to the 25-yard line. And first and 10, Lions. Want to make sure you join us in two weeks' time. Friday, October 15th, 7 p.m., TMI Episcopal comes to San Antonio Christian, and we'll have that game for you right here on Vipe Live. San Antonio Christian in action again next week, but they're making the trip out to Houston St. Thomas, the reigning district champion. We would love to come into that game with a win under your belt in district and a one-game win streak in the ledger. First down snap to Lewin. Flushed out, throws complete at the 40-yard line. And down to about the 44. It's a gain of 19 on the pass to Morris. First down, Lions. And on the tackle is number 26, Jalen Appleby, and number 6, Gio Guerra. The result of that pass play. So the sophomore quarterback, Lewin, really showing off a gun there. He was not even set. Just let it rip and had some real zip on that throw. They'll give him the 45, so gain of 20 on the pass play. That's what Antonian, I think, wanted to do on their first series. And we could start to see if if uh, Cooper Marshall gets the next series for Antonian. We might start to see some real quarterback play. Just tossing the ball around the yard. Pitch play. And the running back stacked up there. That's number 12. Colin, Colin Sigmund, Sigmund on, the carry. on the carry. He lost a yard, but did a good job to stay upright and hang on to that ball as white jerseys started to swarm around him. 6.20 to play down, second quarter. At the second down and 11. Got to get to the Apache 45-yard line. As the Lions hustle player off the field. Guillory comes off. Two receivers right, two on the left for the Lions. Play clock down to 10. Lewin calls for the snap, hands it off. Not much there for Sigmund again. Maybe back to the original line of scrimmage. The carry again is See 12, if he got a yard. In on the stop is number 44, They're going to say Tito. no as he's back stacked up at the 44 as Fertitta makes San the Antonio tackle. Christian at the 45. Yeah, he did get back. So gain of one after the loss of one. But now it's third and 10. He had success punting the ball. Josh Morris has proven to be effective as a punter. Helps that he also has... Uh, the receiving touchdown for San Antonio Christian, but you'd love to keep him on the field as a receiver, not lined up to punt. You need a 10-yard gain or more here. Lewin in the gun. Gets the snap. Pressure comes. Lewin steps up in the pocket. He's going to have to tuck it and try to run. Slides down at the 50-yard line. Gain of five. And uh, no flag That's on the play. Four, Talon Lewin on the carry. And on the stop is number 44, Jack So Antonian Fertitta dialed up a blitz Isaiah there, Pio. and it worked. Head coach down for San Antonio Danny Padron for Antonian. Lining up in punt formation He's coached at O'Connor and also Josh coached Morris. at Texas Lutheran. Retired in 2016, came out of retirement a couple years ago to start taking the job at Antonian. And it's been a desirable job. 
in the Texas private school game. His counterpart on the near side is Ed McCabe for San Antonio Christian. A good punt will be down inside the five yard line all the way down to the one yard line. Wow, look at that home turf. Look at that boot from Josh Morris. And look at the hustle by Max Buffington to get down the field and down that punt. So Antonian will have to go 99 yards if they want to score again. 4.27 to play second quarter. And remember, Antonian got the ball to start, so the Lions will have the ball to start the third quarter. As we, this game moving right along. See the Antonian band making their way towards the gate. They'll, be, they'll perform at halftime, and presumably so will the uh, Lion band. They're jamming on the, uh, on the bleachers in front of us. Shotgun snap from their own end zone. Met in the end zone, lunging forward. That ball might have come out. Oh, that's close. Lions want either a safety or the fumble. Ref says, no, you get neither. Diaz just able to lunge the ball out of the end zone. I think his knee was down in the end zone. So the nose of the ball just did get out of the, out of the painted area. So we'll have second and 10 for Antonian. And it's always risky to take a shotgun snap in your own end zone, but they're gonna do it again. Quarterback is Girat, so they're keeping that quarterback rotation alive. Low snap, Girat will tuck it and run. He's got some running room across the five. Now stretches out towards the far sideline, and looks like he has first down yardage. Wow. That's number one, Sam Girat. On From the your carry. own one yard line to Logan, bounce Jonathan it outside Sheets. and pick up 10 yards, that that's a huge first play first for Antonian. It shows up on the stat sheet as a 10 yard gain, but man, from your own one, those are 10 enormous yards. 3.37 left in the second quarter. Antonio with the ball in a 10-7 lead. Cameron Songer here with you on Vipe Live. If you're just joining us, we were scoreless for most of the first quarter until Antonian ran one in with four seconds left in the quarter. Action is really picked up here in quarter number two. Here at gets the snap. Ball's on the turf. Picked up by the running back. Diaz still going across the 20. Down near the 21 yard line. This might be enough for another first down. Antonian coaches are Diaz, hollering five, about ball security over there on the far sideline. That's a first down for Antonian. But it is a gain of 10. 10. At the 21. Quick play. Nothing there. Pass incomplete. That pass is incomplete intended for number Stops seven the clock. 314 to play. Five, Second quarter. Second and 10 for Antonian at the 21. From their own 21-yard line, it will be second and 10. A little sigh of relief. It's a chance for both teams to kind of catch their breath. There was some fast action there for the last few plays. Both teams able to make some subs. Is Antonian going from right to left across the field? And they change their quarterback. Toscano in a quarterback. He flings one to the near sideline. It's caught with a head of steam. Here goes Gonzalez. It's a foot race, and he's going to win. To the 10, to the 5, that touchdown Antonian. Five. It's a gain of 79 and an Antonian touchdown. So we hadn't seen Toscano really let one fly. He's been more of a running quarterback. But he showed off tremendous touch on that pass. And Antonian an extra point away from making this a 10-point game. Need to kick the extra point for Antonian is number nine, Gabriel Torres. Torres, good on the extra point. New score, 17-7. Remaining in the half. Antonian 17, San Antonio Christian 7. Don't miss out on the opportunity to join Fellowship of Christian Athletes here on the Sachs campus. Monthly meetings will be held in the gym and will provide students an opportunity to have time of worship, fellowship, 
small group time in the Bible, and learning more about what it truly means to be a Christian. I want to thank our sponsor for tonight's broadcast, Academy Sports and Outdoors, where back to school also means back to sport. From graphic tees to football cleats, they have everything you need to make this your best year yet. Swing by your local Academy store today or shop online at academy.com, and you can find all the hottest styles from top brands like Nike, Adidas, Under Armour, and Vans, all at a price you'll love. So if you want game-changing gear, start here at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Lining up for the kickoff for Antonio is number nine, Gabriel Torres. Back deep for the Lions, number three, Hudson Russell, and number five, Logan Bates. Torres, high sailing kick will be fair caught at about the two-yard line. Really showing off a boot there. He made a field goal earlier today. It was about a 26-yarder, and he's showing that he would have range to at least 40 yards, in my estimation. So now real uh, important drive coming up here for San Antonio Christian. 3.03 to play in the second quarter. Down 17-7. to Really need a response here. Don't need a touchdown. Obviously, you can't score a 10-point possession. But would love to get more points on the board, make it a one-score game heading into halftime, and then you get the ball to start the third quarter. Lewin has trips to the right. One receiver on the far side of this formation. Lewin sets up a screen complete to the near side. Sheets. Sheets looking for a block. Doesn't get it. And he is wrestled down at the 30-yard line. It's a gain of five for San Antonio Christian. Number 11, Jonathan Sheets. So second down upcoming with 2.48 to play in the second quarter. Second down for the Lions at the 30-yard line. thing you want to be careful of is take the right amount of time on this drive. Do not want to give the ball back to Antonio with any real time for them to do anything. Play clock at 14. Lewin in the gun. Gets the snap. Has time in the pocket. Runs out to his right. Has to get rid of it. Throws. It's batted down. Good job to get those hands up there. Lewin's pass is incomplete. Intended for number 11, Jonathan Sheets. That and was the number, number 27, Jaden Toscano. Third down. Good job by the linebacker there. So, you know, he started to creep in on the quarterback, then saw that he was starting to wind up to throw, and just stuck his hands up. Knocked the pass down. It's third and five for the Lions from their own 30-yard line. And if, they, if they're stopped short and the clock is running, you wonder if the Apaches might call a timeout here to maximize their time left. Lewin with the pressure coming. Dialed up a linebacker blitz. Now Lewin has to just throw this one away. 2.08 left in the second quarter. Fourth and five upcoming for the Lions. They go three and out. And now you start to see. So Antonian has not really fielded a punt yet tonight. There's been these low line drive kicks. The one time they tried to field one, it was fumbled and recovered by San Antonio Christian, who scored on the next play. So you wonder if you just run away from this, regardless of what the bounce might be. Back deep for Antonio is number seven, Raleigh Strode. Strode back deep return. Ooh, bad snap. Morris tracks it down and sends it away. And this will be fair caught at the 38-yard line. Good awareness. That's a fair catch by number Good seven, Raleigh focus Strode by Strode. As he First and ten for Antonio. Sets his Apaches up with pretty good starting field position, a chance to really uh, change momentum here going into halftime. It was 7-7 for a time here in this second quarter, but the Apaches bounced right back. Moving down the field, had to settle for a field goal. But then getting a, a stop and then a long touchdown pass. Now a chance to make it happen again. Throw over the middle, caught. First down into Lion territory. Toscano to Gonzalez. The last time the Apaches had the ball, those two hooked up for a 79-yard pass. This was not 79 yards, but it's more than 20. But it's first and 10 to the Lion 42-yard line. Minute 45, Toscano picking his way forward. And he's dropped at the 36-yard line, 37-yard line. Whistle, timeout, Antonian. Chase Toscano. And on the stop is number 12, Colin Sigmund. 
Kings. Colin Sigmund credited with the tackle. A minute 34 to play Second in the first half. Apaches. Fans, make sure you stay tuned during halftime. We'll have the performances from both bands as well as uh, a look at what these teams have done, sort of a recap of the Check first half, the and what I like to call a, a preview of college football tomorrow. The concession stand is open thanks to black tie affairs. The concession stand is located by the north end zone. While you are there, you can also check out the Spirit Merchandise Shop with all the latest in Saks Spirit wear on the sidelines. So if you're a college football fan like I am, you know Saturday is uh, one of the best days of the week. You have you have your Friday night lights, and it just segues perfectly into those 11 a.m. kickoffs. I'll have a, a, a viewing guide for top 25 college football tomorrow, as well as all the Texas uh, D1 college football teams to keep an eye on. And, and some special some special trees. So stay tuned for that during halftime. It's one of my favorite things to research during the week. You know, I love preparing the game, game notes for both teams, and learning about the history of all of these, uh, these wonderful private schools in the San Antonio area. But I'm also a, a, a football nerd, and I have some fun tidbits for you here at halftime. Snap to Toscano on second and seven. Screen pass caught. And Diaz runs into some of his own men. He'll get near the 30-yard line. That should be enough to move the chains. Stop the clock as they reset. And set it at the 31-yard line. That play results in an Antonian first down. Minute 14 as the clock gets rolling again. Apache's trying to add to a 10-point lead. Snap to Toscano. Play fake. Steps up. And he will tuck it and try to run. Breaks one tackle. And dropped at the 28-yard line. Good pursuit that time That's by the Lions. Chase Toscano on the keeper. And on the stop was number 12, Colin Sigmund. Sigmund and makes the tackle. Noah Sanchez. And that leads to another Antonio timeout. I believe that's just timeout their second. Ball. They should have one left. I think there's only been the one timeout called by Ladies San Antonio sure Christian. Your tickets for the upcoming Saks Middle and High School production of the Lion King Jr. See your favorite Lion King characters and sing along to its familiar songs coming up October 14th through the 16th. Tickets can be purchased tonight next to the Booster Club tables or stop by the middle school office during the week. So 57 seconds left in the Second quarter, remember Antonian got the ball to start this game. Teams exchanged three and outs. It was a slow-moving first quarter. Really took both teams a little while to find their rhythm, but on really the last, uh, one of the last plays from scrimmage before the first quarter expired, Antonian scored. But it wasn't long before the Lions responded. Remember, we'll have the full recap of that first half coming up for you at halftime. Snap to Toscano. Four-man rush. Throw. To the left side complete with some running room inside the five. Ushered out of bounds at the one. Coming over the middle to make that catch was Raleigh Strode. Heard a whistle from the far sideline. Looking for a flag. I don't see it. And it sets up first and goal for Antonian. Ball at the one-yard line. And it seems like just a matter of moments until the Apaches really extend this lead to make it a three-score game. 50 seconds left, first and goal from the one for Antonian. This is their district opener. San Antonio Christian fell on the road to Central Catholic last week. This is a keeper by Toscano. He just gets a little bit of a push. He's pushed back out of the end zone, but forward progress has him in for an Antonian touchdown. 47 seconds left in the second quarter, and Antonian 23 sacks seven with the PAT pending. That's number eight, Jace Toscano on the carry. He's in the end zone for an Antonian touchdown. And to kick the extra point is number nine, Gabriel Torres. The kick is up and good. Our score with 47 seconds remaining in the half. Antonian 24, San Antonio Christian 7. Forty-seven seconds left until halftime. Cameron Songer here with you on Vipe Live. 
That, field, that PAT was good. Let's update the scoreboard again. 24-7. Gorgeous night for high school football. Man, we got lucky here this evening. Lining up for the kickoff is number nine, Gabriel Torres. Back deep for San Antonio Christian. Three, Hudson Russell, and five, Logan Bates. Another deep kickoff. This one headed toward the sideline, and it bounces into the end zone for a touchback. That right idea by San Antonio Christian to see the if they can maybe get the extra few yards for the kickoff out of bounds. But this time, the turf gods not favoring San Antonio Christian. Logan Bates would have fielded that if he needed to. They've been kicking it towards Bates. See if he gets the chance to make an explosive play in the return game. It can be it can be tough. You know, the ball's kicked your way. You just want to make something happen. Your team is staring at a, a multi-score deficit on the scoreboard. Just have to take it one play at a time here. Snap to Lewin. They give it on the ground. Left side, a little bit of running room, but not much there. As it was Sebastian Cantu, the ball carrier That's there. Number 20, Sebastian Cantu on the carry. He's brought down by number 51, Alex Pruitt. Whistle stop as there's an injured uh, Antonian player who looks to be making that off the field under his own power. It's Bradley Walker, one of their better linemen. So we'll keep an eye on that, see if we can get uh, number 57 back in the game. Not, not necessarily because, you know, you want to see Antonian have more success here if you're a Lions fan. It's just that, you know, you hate to see anybody have to miss extended time for injury. I wish that these young men are able to stay healthy and stay Second on the field. Down 29. Second down after the gain of four. They wind the clock in with 35 seconds. It had stopped for the injury. Handoff. Tripped up in the backfield and spun down is Cantu. He was just trying to get back to the original line of scrimmage. And I'm not sure the Lions are going to run another play here. It's third and nine from their own 26-yard line. 13 seconds left. Lewin headed to the sideline. See if he gets a play call and runs it back in. Doesn't look like it. That appears to be the end of the first half. So Antonian and San Antonio Christian. It was even for most of the first quarter. Antonian scored late in the first quarter. The Lions responded pretty quickly. It was tied for a time, but 17 unanswered points has Antonian feeling pretty good headed into the locker room. We'll take a quick break, and uh, when we come back, we'll recap that first half. You're watching San Antonio Christian Lion Football on Vipe Live.
This dance was choreographed by Deandra Buckley. Our officer line is Lauren Barthol, Amanda Ely, Marina Garcia, Megan Malika, Emma Sitterly. The silver dancer of the week is Leah Wiggins. Good luck, ladies. Your music is on. All right, so the Antonian dance team is out on the field right now. We'll uh, talk for a few minutes while they're getting their music situation sorted out. And uh, we'll be sure to be quiet up here for the San Antonio Christian half of the halftime show. Wanted to recap the action for you. I was aware that we had some, uh, some technical difficulties during the first quarter. Want to apologize for that. But uh, do want to recap for you the, the first quarter. Uh, Antonian had some trouble moving the ball. Teams exchanged three and outs on the opening possession. On the second possession, the Apaches moved down the field, got into the red zone, but went for it on fourth down, and a Sanders sack by, uh, for San Antonio Christian ended that drive on fourth down. Score stayed 0-0 for most of the first quarter until four seconds left. A six-yard touchdown run by Antonian's Diaz opened the scoring 7-0. Early second quarter, San Antonio Christian uh, couldn't respond. Then Antonian went a quick three and out. They, uh, or excuse, excuse me, San Antonio Christian couldn't respond. They punted, but Antonian fumbled, and San Antonio Christian re recovered with 9.05 left in the second quarter. First play after that, a 20 yard touchdown pass from Lewin to Morris tied the game 7 7. But Antonian, they could not be denied really in that second half, as they, or in that second quarter, as they really started to move the ball better. Uh, in that second half of the second quarter. Moved down the field after that, stalled out, had to hit a 25-yard field to make it 10-7, then uh, got the ball back with three, uh, a little more than three minutes to go in the second quarter after a very good San Antonio Christian punt was downed at the one-yard line. Apaches were able to move it out of the shadow of their own goal post, get it out to the 21-yard line where the quarterback Toscano threw a Long, and I mean long touchdown pass to Ricky Gonzalez, 79 yards. That was really the game breaker there with 3.03 left in the second quarter. That made it 17-7. And then just before halftime, if you were with us, a one-yard touchdown run by Toscano with 47 seconds left in the half made it 24-7 Antonian. Remember, San Antonio Christian will get the ball to start quarter number three. That's still more than 20 minutes away. Plenty of chances to make adjustments in the locker rooms for both teams. But that is where we're at in this game. Remember, San Antonio Christian 1-2 overall, 0-1 in district. Apaches of Antonian are 2-2 two two overall, and this is their district opener. I did promise during the uh, run-up to halftime that we would have a college football preview for you. And before we run out of time, I want to make sure we get this in because I spent some time on it, and I'm proud of it. Uh, although it does seem like they have the, uh, the audio figured out for the Antonian dancing. So let's let them have their moment for a moment.
Great job, ladies. Give it up for your 2021, 2022 Silver Dancers. We'd like to congratulate our um, cheerleader of the week. Congratulations to Bree Mendiola. We are so proud of you and all your hard work this week.
would like to thank all of administration, faculty, and the student body of ACP for their support this season. Go Apaches! All right, so as the bands switch and we wait for San Antonio Christian to make their performance, here is your college football preview for the weekend. Cameron Songer back here with you on Vipe Live. Halftime score, Antonian 24, San Antonio Christian 7. There are uh, three games happening tonight. Houston is at Tulsa. Number 5, Iowa is at Maryland. And number 13, BYU is at Utah State. As a reminder, for this recap, I'll tell you all about the Texas college football games you should watch, the top 25 games you should watch, plus two more special picks. Uh, the 11 a.m. shift of games tomorrow, the early games, uh, there are some really good ones. We'll start with the uh, ranked top 10 matchup. Two teams in the top 10. Number eight, Arkansas, is at number two, Georgia. That game is on ESPN kickoff at 11 a.m. Number 14, Michigan, is at Wisconsin. That game is on Fox. Texas is at TCU. That game on ABC. Louisville is at number 24, Wake Forest on ESPN3. And our first honorable mention game is Duke, which is an underwhelming 3-1 at North Carolina. They're 2-2. Two two. They were ranked before losing to Georgia Tech last week. That game is on ESPN2. They play for the victory bell. And my interesting tidbit between the Duke and in the Duke-North Carolina game is this. The teams agree that North Carolina has a winning record in the series. They can't agree exactly what that record is because in a game in, I believe it was 1898 or maybe it's 1889. It's a long freaking time ago. Both teams count that as a win for themselves, a 1-0 forfeit, because they couldn't agree where the game was supposed to be played. They both thought it was supposed to be their home game, and then the other team didn't show up. 19th century football, ladies and gentlemen. Here's the San Antonio Christian Band.
and it's the San Antonio Christian School Lion Band. Gentlemen, be sure to purchase your tickets today for the upcoming musical, Disney's Lion King Jr. You're invited to enjoy a fun-filled evening as the Sachs Middle and High School students take the stage to perform Disney's Lion King Jr. musical on October 14th through the 16th in the Student Life Center. The show includes Cameron Songer back here with you on Vipe Live. Halftime score once again, Antonian 24, San Antonio Christian 7. The show will also feature classic songs from the film. Such did, as uh, Matata, did get in the start of our tonight. college football preview, but I do want to get to continue that. So we left it with the uh, end of the 11 a.m. games. And let's talk now about the afternoon games. Start with some of these 1.30 games tomorrow. Another top 10 clash. Number 7, Cincinnati at number 9, Notre Dame. That game is on NBC and Peacock, 1.30 p.m. Also in the uh, top 25, 130 kickoff category, number 16, Coastal Carolina hosts UL Monroe. Something tells me uh, that ESPN Plus game doesn't really have the same uh, oomph as some of these other ones, such as number 12, Ole Miss at number one, Alabama. That game on CBS tomorrow, 2.30 p.m. kickoff. Number three, Oregon is at Stanford. That game is on ABC at 2.30. Number six, Oklahoma at Kansas State is on Fox. Number 11, Ohio State is at Rutgers. Don't sleep on the Scarlet Knights now. That game is on BTN. Texas Tech is at West Virginia on ESPN2. And USF is at SMU on ESPNU. That game kicks off at 3 p.m. As the Lions take the field, they'll get some stretching in the last two minutes before the third quarter gets underway. In the evening games, 5 p.m., number 10, Florida is at Kentucky. That game's on ESPN. Louisiana Tech is at number 23, NC State, on ESPN Plus slash ACC Network, 5 p.m. NC State ranked, of course, after upsetting Clemson last week. UTSA, the Roadrunners are at home in the Alamo Dome. Rank the Roadrunners, gosh darn it. They're unbeaten. They host UNLV. They'll try to stay perfect. That game kicks off at 5 o'clock tomorrow on ESPN+. Plus. Southern Miss is at Rice on ESPN3. That's a 5.30 kick. Number 15, Texas A&M. Licking their wounds a little bit. A chance to bounce back with a game against Mississippi State at Kyle Field. 6 p.m. kickoff on SEC Network tomorrow night. Number 21, Baylor, is at number 19, Oklahoma State. 6 p.m. kickoff on ESPN2. Indiana at Penn State. That's a 6.30 kickoff on ABC. That's a revenge game for Penn State. They look really good this year. Western Kentucky is at Michigan State on FS1. That's a 6.30 kick. Unranked Boston College, they're 4-0, uh, is at Clemson. They're number 25. They're 2-2. Two two. That's an ACC Network game at 6.30. My honorable mention game number two is 0-5 UConn at 1-3 Vanderbilt. Uh, it's a 6.30 kick on ESPNU. If you want to get out to Nashville, tickets are only $3 a pop. Uh, UConn is average uh, point differential per game so far this season is minus 27.4. Vandy's is minus 24.3. And UConn is getting more than doubled up in total yardage, 463 to 219 per game. So that could be a really weird game. Anything could happen. And then the the, the late night games for the for the college football fanatics. Number 22 Auburn is at LSU. That's at 8 p.m. Old Dominion is at UTEP at 8 p.m. on ESPN Plus. Arizona State at number 20 UCLA on FS1 at 9:30 p.m. Central. And number 18, Fresno State, is at Hawaii. The last game of the night kicks off at 10 p.m. Central on CBS Sports Network. Underway for the start of the second half. Kickoff fair caught by San Antonio Christian, and they'll take it out to the 25-yard line. They've got work to do here as we get going. 24-7 is the deficit for San Antonio Christian. Cameron Songer here with you on Vipe Live. Trey Grubb, my QA back at Mission Control. Nathan Aubin, my cameraman, on a gorgeous night. On the north side of San Antonio, just outside 281 and 1604. I'm not going to see it on the stream, but if you glance over my right shoulder, you see the gorgeous flying interchange. This car is zipping by, oblivious to the great gridiron action we have. As Lewin leads his troops back out onto the field, pitches on the first play, toss out to the near side. 
Good run play that time from Sebastian Cantu. Picks up about six yards. That's number 20, Sebastian Cantu on the carry. It'll that brings up second down for Jake the Lions. Second down for the Lions at the 31. Fans finding their seats once again, getting some concessions. The inflatables getting put away. Those halftime festivities are fun, but we're glad to have football back on the screen for you. Talon Lewin in the gun, hands off. Picking his way forward, first down yardage and then some across the 40 yard line. Nice turn up by Sebastian Cantu. That has his teammates fired up on the San Antonio Christian bench. He's pushed out of bounds by number 51, Alex You look at just uh, numbers-wise, man. It looks like, you know, there's the 11 players per side on the field. But there are about twice as many players in white jerseys on the far sideline compared to uh, black jerseys over here on the near side. There are a handful of Lions who are not dressed out and ready to play. It looks like, you know, they're either injured or, or what have you. But that's just, that's just a deep team over there for Antonian. See if that comes into play here in the second half. High snap, pass is complete to the far side, and then he's gobbled up. Wow. High throw, complete to Josh Morris, and he just got laid out by Strobe. Raleigh Strobe just, uh, you know, lined him up and just teed off on him. Man, that's tough. As a quarterback, man, you can really just, just have to apologize or something like that. It was a high snap. He had to get rid of it because the blitz was coming, and... It was just not the right call there against the Blitz. The high throw to his wide receiver. and Man, loss of two on the play. Second down and 12 with 10-10 to go in quarter number three. Shotgun formation again for the Lions. Lewin in the gun. Hands off. More success on the ground for San Antonio Christian out to the 48-yard line. Once again, that's number 20, Sebastian Cantu. That's number 26, Sebastian Cantu on the carry again. And on the stop is number 26, Jalen Appleby. That'll bring up third down for the Lions at the 47. So that took second and really long and made this third and somewhat manageable. We'll call it third and six. Obviously, you'd like to be a little bit closer. This is probably a passing down. But hey, down 17, you might start be thinking about four down territory either way. Here we go, three receivers to the right, one on the left for Lewin. High snap, he's rolling out to the right. Steps up, under pressure, lobs it up, and just throws it into the Antonian bench. So the Apaches well, the think they have the stop. For number three, Hudson Russell. See what changes the Lions make, and out trots Josh Morris from the sideline. That indicates to me Lions are punting. Back and that seems to be the case. Is number seven, Raleigh, Strode. Raleigh Strode back deep to return. Fourth and six, 9.20 to play third quarter. This is, wouldn't put it past them to try something here. I think the Apaches might have to stay on their toes. Snap away to Morris. It's a good snap. And he sends this high, deep kick away. Fielded at about the 15-yard line. Gets away from one, and now Strode has some running room. 30. Spins away from another tackle. 35, 40. Tiptoes out of bounds of the 44-yard line, and the flag flies late. That's that was thrown about the 41-yard line, so this might be coming back a little bit. Still a pretty good return, but we'll see what the flag is all about. They're pointing towards the Antonian side. It's a block in the back against the Apaches. So take some of the edge off of that very nice return. It will still be Antonian ball. It will still be starting... At least outside the 20. I think this takes it back to about the 31-yard line. Antonian, so that'll back up their punt return. But the Apaches will have their first drive of the second half, trying to extend a 24-7 lead. After the penalty is enforced, it'll be first and 10 for the Apaches at the 31. Antonian obviously won the matchup between these two teams last year, 49-10. And all time, these teams haven't played that much, you know, for... Such historic private schools in the San Antonio area. They were in different classifications and taps for such a long time. Antonian leads the all-time series 3-1. to one. Good hard contact there. Lower in the shoulder was Eric Diaz, and San Antonio Christian said, mm, not so fast. Eric Diaz, and on the stop is number 11, Jonathan Sheets. Jonathan Sheets making the tackle for the Lions for a gain of just two. So yeah, as district foes now, these teams have a chance to get more familiar with each other. We'll see if uh, the realignment 
come about February, keeps these two teams in the same district. Antonian, obviously a, a bigger football program and more successful in recent years, but I think it's great to have a, a local rivalry like this. Here's a good play on the little sweep as they get a uh, Don San Diego. And on the stop is number two, Josh Morris. It's really only the second or third time this season he's gotten a, a carry at this level. He's a sophomore. And I think you could, you know, zoom in on film. I think that's technically a forward pass. The quarterback gets the snap and just sort of hot potatoes it to the guy who's swooping across the formation. But because it's not, you know, it's not lateral and it's not backwards, it's, it's a forward pass. I don't know. I'm, I have to see how the stat heads think about that. Handoff up the middle. Breaking tackles into Lion territory and stop short of the 45-yard line. The that will bring up a second Eric down Diaz. as Eric Diaz yeah, gets nine. Two, Josh Morris and 54, Adam Aguilar. Aguilar and Morris for San Antonio Christian make the stop. Second down, one yard to go down for the Apaches in Lion territory for San Antonio Christian or San Antonio Christian on defense. Excuse me. Seven and a half minutes to play third quarter. Shifting defense. As this is an option keeper for Toscano, breaks a tackle in the backfield, has first down yardage, and he's tripped up for a gain of about three. I'll tell you what, this Antonio team, we talked about their depth. We talked about, I mean, just numerically how many players you see over there on the far sideline. Uh, but there are a lot of seniors on this uh, in their starting lineup. And then, you know, you look at how many starters they're returning from last year. Two returning starters on offense, three on defense. So they really just reload. You know, just a program that has that, that depth of talent where you know, they can withstand a ton of departing seniors and just, you know, be ready and be good again the next year. Hand up the middle, Diaz, sort of slow to get going and then falls forward to about the 40-yard line. We'll see if they give him the 41 or the 40. They give him the 40, so it's a gain of four. Six and a half minutes to play third quarter. Just a patient, methodical three, drive for Antonian. As Aguilar Second gets credit down, for the tackle, the change floor. for San Antonio Christian. Tyler Harrison checks out. Ethan Sanders checks back in. Sanders had that big sack to force a turnover on downs in the first quarter. He's the captain, one of the star players for this San Antonio Christian team as a two-way lineman. Snap, quarterback keeper. Broken tackle out to the 30. Trying to get upfield to the 25. Spun down to the 22-yard line goes Jace Toscano. Sophomore quarterback slash defensive back slash uh, That's number eight, Jace Toscano. line him up as a running back sometimes too. He has a nice run there. Brought down by number five, Logan Bates. He picked up his third rushing touchdown of the season in the waning seconds of the first half. Also has five catches on the year. But today getting some snaps as a quarterback doing a really good job of it. Low snap, he'll hand it off Diaz. Diaz bouncing off left tackle, tripped up at about the 15-yard line, flag flies. And they might have got a hold of the face mask there. Hands on the hips there after the tackle by, I believe, Logan Bates. Let's get this sorted out. A couple of refs talking this over. There is a flag on the play. Patches are not backing up, so I think they think it's on San Antonio Christian. Let's get a let's get a call here on that flag. Looks like it's against Antonian. Penalty is called on Antonian. Looks like it's a a personal foul penalty. After the penalties are enforced. It'll be first down at the 40-yard line. Oh, that was multiple fouls. My goodness. All right, so the new line to gain is the 12-yard line. The line of scrimmage is the 40, so... 
break out the abacus and say it's about first and first and about 30 on a whistle before the play. I don't see a flag. Might be a timeout here. Correction, the quarterback was down at the 45. That brings up second down. <laughs> Second down for the Apaches at the 45. The ruling is that the quarterback's knee was down as he took that snap, so that is a, a dead play. And this is, I didn't see what happened down there on the sidelines. It appears to be that there was multiple personal foul penalties against Antonian. That's what was taking so long to get that last play sorted out. Uh, but my goodness, they're now back at the Lion 45-yard line. This is second and 34. Hand off the middle, Diaz. And he gets back to the 40. That's number three, Eric Diaz on the carry. He's tackled by number two, Josh Morris, and number nine, Garner Guillory. That brings up third down for the Apaches at the 40-yard line. So you look at the San Antonio Christian defense. They're back in way, way up. There's... At this point, you give them the underneath routes. You say, yeah, you can have a 10, 15-yard catch. You're not getting the first down here. You're not getting in a field goal range. Snap to Toscano. Play fake. Just a three-man rush. He has time to throw. Picks his man over the middle complete to the 20. Now trying to get a block on the outside. And tiptoes out of bounds about the 11-yard line. That's close. Pass is complete to number seven, Raleigh Strode. And that's enough for a first down. They needed the 12. He got the 11. That's the problem sometimes with going conservative on defense is you give up a big play like that. It's a gain of 30-plus. Oh, check that. They're going to say he was about a yard short. It's fourth nope. down for Antonian at the 11. No, nope, they are moving the chains. Correction. First down. Yeah. I think the, the chain gang, which I think is a San Antonio Christian uh, leaning kind of guys, they just couldn't believe it. They said, really? They converted that? Third down and a mile. 3.35 to go third quarter, and this has the makings of a drive that really just saps any momentum for the Lions. They need to stop here near the goal line. Toscano in the gun. Calls for the snap. Calls his own number. Up the middle he goes. Tripped up. Inside the 10-yard line. Down to about the 7-yard line. Just keeps eight, Chase Toscano on the carry. Draining the away on this third quarter. Noah, Sean, Noah Sanchez. No Sanchez making the tackle there for the Lions. Gain of three. Second down. Second down at the eight yard line. Time for that Lion defense to defend the end zone from their from the eight yard line. Toscano is in the shotgun for the Apaches. Got Diaz on his right hip. Flinging towards the end zone. Has a man caught. Touchdown, Antonian. And a little extracurriculars there as Gonzalez is wrestled down. 2.37 to play third quarter with the extra point pending. It's 30-7 to Apaches. Antonio's lining up for the extra point and to attempt the kick is number nine, Gabriel Torres. The holder is number 12, Cooper Marshall. Kick is up and good. Our score Kick is up and good. We'll take a quick break. 31-7, our score. Antonian starting to run away with this one. You're watching San Antonio Christian Football on Vipe Live. Ladies and gentlemen, if you know a family desiring to partner with an excellent school that will be loved and shepherded, that will love and shepherd their child's heart, please encourage them to contact the SACS admissions office. To learn more about SACS or to register for a tour, go to www.sachristian.org and click on admissions.
That's number nine, Gabriel Torres kicking Gabe off. Gabe Torres kicking off. Kickoff will be fair caught by San Antonio Christian. It's fair caught by number five. And they'll take it out to the 25-yard line. First and ten for the Lions at their 25-yard line. That last touchdown pass, second time this evening that Toscano has found Gonzalez. First one was for 79 yards. That one was for about six yards. Toscano also has a rushing touchdown. Apache's looking really good out there. They'll pick up their first district win here this evening in their district opener. For the Lions, it'll most likely be back to the drawing board. They'll fall to 0-2 in district. Barring a big comeback, still, still time left, but they need to think about a quick score here. 2.37 to play, third quarter, trailing 31-7 here at home. Lewin in the shotgun. He will hand it off. Just maybe a yard there for his tailback. On the carry that time is number 12, Sigmund. Colin Sigmund. In on the tackle is 27, Jaden Toscano. And there's an injured player down for San Antonio Christian. Officials time Looks out. like that was the ball carrier, Sigmund, who's down. And as he gets tended to, we'll step aside. You're watching San Antonio Christian football on Vipe Live. Colin Sigmund able to walk off the field under his own power. After the injury timeout, it will be second down and nine for San Antonio Christian. 2.22 left in the third quarter, and your Lions trailing 31-7. Whistle before the snap, and the flag flies. This flag is probably going to back up the Lion offense. False start against San Antonio Christian is a five-yard penalty. Cameron Songer here with you on Vipe Live. Nathan Aubin, my cameraman, Trey Grubb, our QA back at Mission Control. Suna Venkat also helping us get on the air here this evening. Big thanks to the entire Vipe Live crew and to the folks at San Antonio Christian for partnering with Vipe Live again to bring you Lion football here in their TAPS Division I District Two campaign. Lewin heaves a deep ball into double coverage, incomplete. Launch pass is being completed, intended for Looking 10, for Josh Morris, well covered that time by Raleigh, Raleigh Strode, seven, and Raleigh creeping Strode. over from his safety spot, Jalen Appleby. So it'll be third and 14 for the San Antonio Christian offense. Remember our next broadcast of Lion Football comes to you on Friday, October 15th. 7 p.m. kickoff. San Antonio Christian taking on TMI Episcopal. 
That's a non-district game. Last non-district tilt of the year for the Lions. Third down. Lewin under some heat. Has a throw. It's complete. And that's first down yardage as the receiver stretches the ball Each forward. Pass is complete to number six, Max Buffington. Max Buffington Talking did a right nice job there to run through. to the sticks. Oh, uh, check that. He's going to be short. I was looking at the wrong set of sticks. Fourth down at the It'll be fourth and four. Back in punt formation is number two, Josh Morris. Still a nice, nice job to you know run the, a good route, come back to the ball, and then after making the catch, stretch it, stretch the ball. He did everything right, just had too far to gain on that play. Low kick off the foot of Morris. It'll be taken on the hop by Strode. Strode picking his way up the middle, leapfrogs a man, and then he's down at about the 38-yard line. Bodies flying towards that ball there. And the Apaches take That's over once again. 107 to play, third quarter, 31-7. The lead for the visitors. That bring up first and 10 for Antonian at the 39. Apaches can put this game to bed if they score again here. They're keeping the hot hand Toscano in at quarterback. He flings it out to the left side complete. This is to number 83, Michael Painter. And Painter gets this near a first down yardage. Number 83, Michael Painter. And on the tackle is number 64, James He gets Blunder. nine yards. Second down and one upcoming up second down for Antonian. Antonian. At the 48. Snap, handoff, Diaz with a big hole. First down yardage and more into Lion Territories. He's down to the 44-yard line. Give credit where credit is due. Tie short, That's number, three, Eric number Diaz, 65 Eric. in white. He towers over pretty much everybody else on the field. First down for first He's one of the better offensive linemen 44. at any level in South Texas. Committed to play football at Cornell next year. Yes. With 10 seconds left, the Apaches don't feel like running another play. They don't have to. And that will take us to the end of quarter number three. Your score after three quarters, Antonian 31, San Antonio Christian 7. You're watching Lion Football on Vipe Live. We'll be back with the fourth quarter in just a moment. And at this time, we'd like to present our 2021-22 Sacks cheerleaders. The cheerleading coach is Christy Valdez. The seniors this year, Captain Claire Jowers. Captain Abigail Reyes. Maddie Hines, Charlize Hemby, Lexi Dennis, Paisley Carr, Junior Caden Burke, Sophomores Addie Arnold, Abby Kane, Claire Keck, Natalie McKinley, Sophia Holzman, Adelaide Allen, and freshman Abs Kraskopf, and Mary Margaret Gardner. Ladies and gentlemen, All right, ready to go for the fourth quarter. Antonian on the field. Handoff goes up the middle. Here's Diaz again. Spun down to about the 38-yard line on first down. Gets about six or seven yards. That's number three, Eric Diaz on the carry for Antonian. And on the tackle for the Lions, number nine, Garner Guillory. Second down for the Apaches at the 39. Two receivers left, two to the right for quarterback Jace Toscano, the sophomore, who, if there was any quarterback controversy, he might have he might have just taken the job from Two seniors tonight. Great performance by Toscano as that's another handoff this time. Three, Diaz Eric doesn't Diaz have much room to work. He's tackled by number nine, Garner Guillory. Yeah, so in the first half, I mean, Cooper Marshall was the starting quarterback. Team went three and out. Sam Girat also got some reps in the first half. Another senior. He's technically their leading passer. Not the starter, but the, those two seniors were splitting time. And then... Uh, Neither one of them really led Antonian to start pulling away until Jace Toscano really started taking the, the lion's share of the snaps. 
He's been a dual threat quarterback. Low snap. Throws to the right side, complete with room to go. Here's Sam Diego. Sam Diego breaks a tackle, and he's down to the 10 yard line. Toscano's pass is complete to number 24. Gain of 30 on the play. Sam Have not called Sam Diego's names much. Tackled by number 54, Adam Aguilar. That results in an Apache first down. But when he's been on the field, he's been uh, effective for the Apaches. Pushed out at the 10 yard line. The 10 yard line. So it's first and goal for Antonian. 10 25 to go in the fourth quarter. Antonian has been the more successful program in recent years. San Antonio Christian has not had a winning season since 2013 when they went 6 and 5. Apaches want to talk Antonian. this one over, though. Timeout on the field taken by Antonian. During this break, let's take a look at some of the scores from around the area. Busy weekend of high school football in the San Antonio area. And let's get you some updated scores to the best of our abilities. Southwest is leading Laredo Cigaroa by a score of 29-0. That's in the fourth quarter. Harlan on top of O'Connor. The Panthers are on a down year this year. 14-3 is the score there in the third quarter. Johnson, Blaking Churchill, 31-0. That's in the third quarter. Highlands on top of Burbank, 35-17 in an SAISD showdown. How about this one, the Central Catholic Buttons. This is a district game for uh, for these two teams, district rivals for these uh, game for this game we're watching tonight. Halftime score, Central Catholic 21, Houston St. Thomas 21. Remember, Houston St. Thomas won the district going away last year and might be the district favorite this year, but the Central Catholic Buttons, they have something to say about it. That game tied at halftime. Memorial blanking Jefferson, 21-0 at halftime. That's the same score for Taft Warren, the Raiders in top, on top of the Warriors, 21-0. And Reagan, 14, Madison, 3 is the halftime score. How about Southside, 14, Corpus Christi win, 7 at halftime. Pass is complete to the near side, breaking tackles, lunging into the end zone, touchdown Antonian. Toscano with his third touchdown pass of the night. And Fertitta finds pay dirt. Torres good on the extra point. 38-7 is the score now. Antonian pulling away. They've scored 31 unanswered in this ball game. It was 7-7 with about nine minutes left in the second quarter. And since then, it's been all Apaches. You're watching Lion Football on Vipe Live. Stay with us. Become a member of the Lions Backers Booster Club and help support your Sax Lions. Check out www.gosachristian.org for up-to-the-minute news and information on the Lions Backers Club. Or visit the Lions Backers Club table tonight. Go Lions! Kicking off for Antonian is number nine, Gabriel Torres. Back deep is number five. Gabriel Jack Torres has been busy tonight, kicking off once again for number Antonian. Torres and number five, Logan Bates. And again, they kick it towards the near side. And this time will be fielded and taken out. And that might be a mistake because it's down at the 18-yard line. Logan Bates just couldn't get the block he was looking for. And with 9.59 to play in the fourth quarter, the Lions will start from their own 19-yard line. Uh, another look at the area high school scoreboard. Again, lots of games going on in the San Antonio area tonight. Uh, Seguin shutting out Lavernia at halftime, 27-0. And then uh, I don't think we have updated There's scores yet for Brackenridge, Sam Houston, Southwest Legacy taking on Laredo Martin. Both those games, uh, we don't have scores yet for you. Lewin gets the snap, throws to the far side, walloped. What a hit. Pass is complete. Great job to hang on to that as Hudson Russell made the catch. Is complete, three. And I believe Hudson that was Russell. Raleigh Strode again. Seven, Raleigh Strode. Yeah, Strode is 
He's been a missile to some of these wide receivers, and they'll be happy to not have to see him again after tonight. Gain of two on the play, second and eight. Two receivers on either side for Lewin, who gets the snap and hands it off. Can two up to about the 25 yard line. This will be third and manageable. And as you imagine, Antonian probably will want to start pulling some of their starters. Good crowd traveled. The entire visitor bleacher is full. Do you want to give a tip of the cap there for the uh, from the Antonian faithful who made the trip? Not that it's particularly far. And sometimes you say, oh, wow, that team traveled so well because they're traveling from Austin or from Houston. Uh, but uh, from the north side of San Antonio to the further north side of San Antonio, not a particularly long trip. High snap. Lewin gives it off again. Left side. First down yardage and then some. Lower in the shoulder. Good job to deliver the contact there. Sebastian Cantu has a first down for the Lions. By number 11, Parker Lanham. The result of that Cantu run is another Lion first down. The, as I'm looking over there at the Antonian sideline and the Antonian defense, still see number eight, Jace Toscano out there, and number seven, Raleigh Strode. That's been, uh, those have been your two best players, and now it looks like Toscano's coming out. He's been their, he's been their quarterback and also playing some safety, but he'll be replaced now by Jaden Villarreal. First and ten for the Lions, snap to Lewin, throws to the far side complete at about the 37-yard line, then lower in the shoulder, gets to the 38. Pass is complete to number six, Max Buffington. Max Buffington Max hauling that six, pass Gio in. Guerra and 27, Jaden Toscano. So a good job to pick up five yards there. Second down upcoming for San Antonio Christian. We have under Second eight minutes to play in the ball game. 7.44 and counting. This result holds. San Antonio Christian will fall to one and three on the year, and Antonian improves to three and two. Still a lot of football to be played this season. High snap, Lewin. Hand off again, Cantu. This time he's met in the backfield. Spins forward, drags the defender with him, picks up a yard, maybe two. That's number 22, Sebastian Cantu on the carry. Third down, three yards upcoming. Yeah. Lions just have to be content with grinding out some difficult yards right now. Not a lot's been working for them offensively, but you cannot give up. You have to find what works and just try to uh, improve on little things where you can. Three receivers right, one on the left. Lewin in the gun again. Snap, throws to the far side, incomplete. That bounces off the hands of Morris. Good hands shown there on the Antonian bench as uh, they picked up the bouncing ball. No one's going to get that off the deflection, not in the field of play at least. But the incomplete pass brings up fourth down. It looks like the offense stays on the field for San Antonio Christian. From their own 40-yard line, line to gain is the 43. 6.44 to play in the fourth quarter. Trailing 38-7 on the home turf of Hotchkiss Memorial Field. Trips right, one on the left, whistle. Timeout San Antonio Christian. Ed McCabe wants to talk things over with his club. Timeout San Antonio Christian. If you're just joining us, it was an even first quarter. We were scoreless almost to the end of quarter number one. If it wasn't for a three yard or an eight yard touchdown run by Antonian. But San Antonio Christian, their biggest play of the night so far has been uh, really a mistake by Antonian. They punted early in the second quarter. It was fumbled by Antonian recovered by San Antonio Christian. Then the Lions went one play, 20 yards for a touchdown on the pass from Lewin to Morris. That tied the game at seven with 8.59 left in the second quarter. It stayed that way for less than two minutes of clock time uh, when Antonian marched down the field. They were stopped and settled for a field goal. It stayed 10-7 uh, stayed for a good chunk of the second quarter, but then Antonian scored twice before halftime and then once in the third quarter, once in the fourth quarter. And for those of you keeping score at home, that's 31 unanswered for Antonian since the game was 7-7. And here's a big fourth and three for the Lions. Snap to Lewin, pitch play to the near side, trying to find a block, it's not there. And stacked up short of the line of scrimmage, short of the line to gain, it's a turnover on downs. 
Cantu needed three. He lost a yard or two. And the Apaches come back out on offense, starting over at the Lion 39-yard line. If I'm a coach right now, I'm looking at the body language of my guys. You know, saying, hey, this, this is probably not one we're going to win, but what can we do to, you know, to prop each other up, you know, keep our heads up and keep trying to make plays? Uh, because the film doesn't lie, and you can, you can develop good habits even in a game that's, uh, you know, you're not going to win, even in a game against tough, tough competition. This is a good Antonian program. Got a whistle and a timeout for San Antonio Christian. I think they had too many men on the field, so they need to get that sorted out, and they'll have to burn a timeout to do so. Let's see if we can get updates to some of these scores we were telling you about a few moments ago. Southwest pulling away from Laredo Cigaroa, 36-0. Harlan added another score, and they're in the fourth quarter against O'Connor. Some Northside ISD uh, showdown there. 21-3, Hawks over the Panthers. Reagan 14, Madison 3. Johnson 31, Churchill nothing. Highlands 35, Burbank 17. The one I'm keeping an eye on, of course, is Houston St. Thomas against San Antonio Central Catholic. My scoreboard's still showing that that is 21-21 at halftime. Tip of the cap to uh, Ken's Five here in San Antonio for their high school scoreboard. Pretty easy to use. I'm a fan of that one. San Antonio Express News has a scoreboard. I know. I mean, any media outlet around San Antonio will have a, a scoreboard you can use. That's just the one I go to first, uh, just for my personal experience. In at quarterback, they're back to the starter. It's number 12, Cooper Marshall. He's handing it off, and there's just no room to run for his tailback. That time, number 28, Noah Beninato Benato on the carry. Beninato uh, gets about half a yard. Sanchez and 64, Jake Glendini. No gain on the play. Halfway through the fourth Second quarter here. 38-7, Apaches in front. Now it's Girat in at quarterback. He hands off. And a good burst forward. Again, it was Beninato. This time he gets five yards. And on the stop was number 54, Adam Aguilar. And it looks like Antonio right now, they're just switching quarterbacks back and forth. Girat and Marshall just getting the play call from the sideline, bringing it in, running the play, and then coming off. These are all, these have all been handoffs here. And that's, that's the right thing. You know, you're up uh, comfortably. You have, a, you know, one of the backup tailbacks in the game. Getting him some work. Ben Nato again gets the call across the 30. This is going to be close. Let's see where they spot this. And it is going to be enough for first down. Jonathan Sheets making the tackle for the Lions. But not before he picked up just enough for a first down. Results in an Antonian first down. First and 10 at the 29. For what it's worth for Antonian, their star offensive lineman, Ty Short, is not on the field right now, number 65. Beninato again gets the call, and he stopped right at the line of scrimmage. On the carry again is number 28, Noah Beninato. Car Garner on Guillory the making the stop. 11, Jonathan Sheets. And Jonathan Sheets as well. Second down at the 39. No gain on the play. 29-yard line is the line of scrimmage. They need to get to the 19 to reset the chains. As we take under four and a half minutes to go in this fourth quarter. Good show by most of the San Antonio Christian fans to stick around. Even though this one's been decided at this point. Play clock down to six. As Cooper calls for the snap. Play fake and the pass. One hand catch behind the line of scrimmage. Now looking for a block and gets it. Out across the 15 yard line. First down yardage. Nice hands and a nice run after the catch by Michael Painter to bail out his quarterback. Cooper Marshall's pass is complete to number 83. Michael Gain Painter. of about 16, and it's a first down for Antonian. That play results in an Antonian first down. First and 10. New line of scrimmage is the 13-yard line. The 14. Girat comes back in, brings the play over from the sideline. First and 10, Apaches. Yeah, that, last, that last play, I mean, they had handed it off to Beninato about five or six times in a row, it seems. So they just wanted to give him a break. Beninato gets the call here, goes up the middle with it. 
and picks up about five yards. That's number 28, Noah Beninato on the carry. Stopped by number 11, Jonathan Sheets. Second down. Had a whistle. Someone's helmet came off for Antonian, so he needs to come off. Second down at the nine-yard line. Gain of four on that carry, second down and six. Still can pick up a first down without the touchdown if you're Antonian. 3-10 to play in the fourth quarter as they're just getting closer to the finish line. Snap, handoff of the middle, Beninato has a surge, has the end zone. Touchdown, Antonian. That's number 28, Noah Beninato on the carry. From nine yards out, and that makes it 44-7 with the extra point pending. In for the extra point attempt is number nine, Gabriel Torres. Torres' extra point, Torres is, extra point is good. He's been busy tonight. Six of six on extra points and one of one on field goals. Our score, Antonian 45, San Antonio Christian 7. I want to thank our sponsor, Academy Sports and Outdoors, for uh, making tonight's broadcast possible and their support of tonight's broadcast. Thank you. At Academy Sports and Outdoors, back to school also means back to sport. From graphic tees to football cleats, we have everything you need to make this your best year yet. Swing by your local Academy store today or shop online at academy.com, and you can find all the hottest styles from top brands like Nike, Adidas, Under Armour, and Vans, all at a price you'll love. So if you want game-changing gear, start here at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Cameron Songer here with you on Vipe Live for this presentation of San Antonio Christian Lions football. Nathan Aubin, my cameraman. Trey Grubb, the QA, back at Kicking Vipe Live studio. Suna Venkat, uh, product director, with a huge assist for helping to get us on the air here this evening. Another kickoff, another deep kick. And that's mishandled, picked up. And now a chance to make something happen. 25-30. Here goes Bates. Bates lowers the shoulder and is out near midfield. That's returned by number five, Logan Bates. Tackled by number one, Sam Girat. There's a flag on the play. Some extracurriculars there, and man, those were looks like those San Antonio Christian players who were just trying to keep each other from from making that worse. It was a, a Lions player who shoved another Lions player to the ground, and now there's a couple flags down on this play. So it looks like some of those yards will be given back by San Antonio Christian after a long return. Because right, I'll tell you what happened is... Uh, Sam Girat, I believe, I thought it's on number one there in white, but uh, you know the the return man, and then uh, there was the block as well. I, th I think at first it was that uh, that Bates sort of ran him over, which is fine. You can do that. But what you can't do is is come come over him and then stand over him, especially when you're right in front of the you know your team's bench. The the, the guy is down on the ground. His teammates can't get to him. And his bench is, you know, all the way on the other side of the field. That's unsportsmanlike, and, and the ref's doing a good job to, to keep that from, from escalating here. Is, you know, there, there's some frustrated Lions players out there. Uh, their team down, 2.48 to play in the fourth quarter. Just want to make sure everyone keeps things, uh, you know, safe and sportsmanlike out there. As on the handoff, uh, Cantu has nowhere to go. That's number 20, Sebastian Cantu on the carry. On the stop was number 32, Davian Martinez, and 27, Jaden Toscano. Yeah. 
Loss of two on the play, second down and 12 from their own 33-yard line for San Antonio Christian. Trips to the left, one on the right, snap, pass is thrown complete. And that's Josh Morris who tried to fight for some yards after the catch, couldn't do much. Pass is complete to number two, Josh Morris. And on the stop is number 24, Aiden San Diego. Third down at the 38. Correction, that was a pass from number 14, Bodie Allen. So Bodie Allen in at quarterback for San Antonio Christian. He gets the snap, rolls to his right, under pressure, and he has to just get rid of it. That pass deflected away, out of bounds, and it brings up fourth and seven. So Allen, listed as number 13, or listed as number 14 on my roster. His helmet has a 14. He's wearing jersey number 13. That's what confused me. I did see that, oh, hey, the Lions have a new quarterback in there. I wanted to make sure I was... I wasn't going to say the wrong name, waiting for the PA to help me out there. Tip of the cap to the, uh, the PA announcer and the entire uh, athletic department crew for San Antonio Christian. Lions going for it here on fourth and seven from their own 37-yard line. Line to gain is the 45. Allen gets the snap. Throws the deep ball to the near side. Caught! Down to the 30-yard line. Great concentration. Jonathan Sheets keeps the drive alive for San Antonio Christian. Villarreal, the one to usher him out of bounds for the Apaches. Gain of 30 on the pass. First and 10, San Antonio Christian. Snap. Pump fake, another deep ball, this time to the far side, has his man, brings it in, touchdown Lions! What a throw, what a catch! Josh Morris hauls it in, and what a throw from the freshman, Bodie Allen. Touchdown Lions! Point is number 22, Caleb on for the extra point. Lions bringing on that 11th man a little late. Still have time to get the snap. Whistle. And the Lions want to make sure that they're all set for this. We'll step aside for just a moment. 1-10 to go in the fourth quarter. The Lions ending on a high note here tonight with the passing touchdown back-to-back 30-yard -back dimes by Bodie Ladies Allen. Again, you can get your tickets for the upcoming and we'll have the extra point in just a moment. King Jr. See your favorite Lion King characters and sing along to his familiar songs coming up October 14th through the 16th. Tickets can be purchased tonight next to the Booster Club tables or stop by the middle school office during the week. Again, lining up for the extra point attempt is number 22, Caleb Schutze. Holder is number two, Josh Morris. PAT splits the uprights. It's 45-14, but that's a, a big, big momentum booster, morale booster, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it it's a W for, for the Lions. Not on the, you know, not in the in the game as a whole, but but man, there's a there's a big difference between giving up you know, whatever it was, 38 unanswered points, and, and then the game coming to an end, and then uh, and and getting that last one. Uh, the, the Apaches coaches, you know, they're not going to dismiss it, dismiss it and say, oh, you know, it's it's a, a, a end of the game touchdown against our against our second string. Like they they still want to see their guys out there performing, and 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 you earned that one. It's a really nice moment for this team. Uh, and, and what a, a series of throws there by Allen. Uh, just a freshman. And uh, tell you what, Lewin is, is a sophomore. That there's, there's bright spots in the, uh, in the quarterback room for San Antonio Christian. You know, they, ha they have some line play. Uh, Ethan Sanders 
the, the senior is obviously the, the superstar along the line, and, and, and he'll hold his own no matter what. You, know, you, you give those quarterbacks some time, you, you find a way to get those receivers open. There's there's something in the in that passing game here for San Antonio Christian. You, know, you look at what happened a week ago, and you say, okay, Central Catholic, they're really good this year. 50, 50 to nothing uh, was the final result there. Onside kick. That was touched by Antonio and recovered by San Antonio Christian. The Lions get the ball back. And you see the momentum. Ethan Sanders, one of the first guys back out on the field. He's ready to go. He says, let's go. You know, put me back out the there. That's what you love to see. I mean, they're, they're, the Lions are not going to win this game. But you have your senior captain out there who's just so fired up for his guys, so fired up for his team. Uh, Ethan Sanders, uh, the TAP 6A Athlete of the Year last year. He just picked up a, a, a track scholarship offer from Colorado State. He has a football scholarship offer from Dartmouth, among others. Here's another deep ball. This one underthrown, and it'll be picked off by Antonian. Coming back the other way with a head of steam. Here comes Samaniego, and he'll be down all the way back at the Lion 35-yard line. And that was a nice idea by Allen. He said, uh, hey, the, the arm strength, he's a freshman. Get him back in the weight room. <laughs> Give him another year. And uh, he'll be making that throw, no problem. It just wasn't there on this occasion. And now you expect Antonian probably just will, you know, run out the clock. 51 seconds left. But you're going to finish this game. You're going to finish this game with some, with some spunk and some moxie for San Antonio Christian. You love to see it. Play clock is running, game clock is not, as Antonian needs that 11th guy in the huddle. They break the huddle with 16 on the play clock. I mean, imagine this is just going to be a victory formation for Antonian. Play clock at 5. There's the kneel down from Girat. They'll have to do that one more time. Second down. That will, uh, they'll wrap this one up. Here the San Antonio Christian students booing the kneel down play, and I, I, I don't know, man. That's, we could do without the boos here in, uh, you know, in high school football. But one more kneel down. That should just about do it. And these teams will shake hands. And that will be a wrap on this game. San Antonio Christian will fall to 1-3 and three on the year, 0-2 oh in Taps Division I, District 2. For Antonian, this was their district opener. They're now 3-2 and two on the year and 1-0 and oh in district play. Up next, San Antonio Christian will make the drive out to St. Thomas of Houston. Meanwhile, Antonian will be staying in the Alamo game. City, and a Houston team will come to them. It'll be St. Pius uh, coming to Antonian. That's next week's game. Uh, for both teams. We'll be back on the air for Vipe Live right back here at Greg Hotchkiss Memorial Field Friday, October 15th, 7 p.m. Non-district action as your Lions take on TMI Episcopal. Final score, Antonian 45, San Antonio Christian 14. For my camera operator, Nathan Aubin, my QA, Trey Grubb, Merle Bertrand, Suna Venkat, Suna Venkat, Christina Weber, the entire Vipe Live crew, this is Cameron Songer signing off from San Antonio Christian. Thanks for watching, and have a great evening.